It is now 616 on this Wednesday night. We were sitting in the newsroom earlier. We heard those thunder boomers. Yes. Sounded pretty intense there, Matt. Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, the loudness of the thunder, the audio part of it, is dependent on the temperatures that go up in the atmosphere. So we actually had a little inversion for a while, which kept that sound bouncing back and forth. So you probably heard some loud thunder boomers where you were if you already had the rain. It's interesting how the sound waves play based on temperatures in the atmosphere. Big picture, I want to kind of level set where we're at right now. The green, we've got aerial flood advisories. That's from the heavy rain that already fall, uh, fell over the course of the last hour. Cuyahoga, Lorraine, northern Medina County, and back towards San. Dusky. Where we're concerned right now are the orange boxes, Stark County, Wayne County, Southern Summit County. You've got a severe thunderstorm uh, warning right now and another severe thunderstorm warning stretching out towards Trumbull County. You notice what we don't have is a lot of yellow on the map. They're trimming back that severe thunderstorm watch as anticipated as we go throughout the evening. So our big threat right now is heading into Southern Trumbull County. This is also getting into the Youngstown area, which is outside of our DMA. But you notice the heavy rain we've got right now near Garrettsville. We've got strong winds on the leading edge of this. This stretches down towards towards Ravenna, Rootstown, over towards Randolph, seeing some heavier rain. The big concern has been the wind with this. I was looking at some traffic maps over the last five minutes. There's a lot of slow traffic in Hudson and in Streetsboro, where we were tracking that 70 to 80 mile per hour potential wind moving through. So that tells me you've got a lot of damage there in terms of wind uh, damage uh, with the trees and the power lines down. But there it is. That was that little wind max that came through now over the Wyndham area, heading into eventually uh, areas near Braceville and Newton. This is in Trumbull County. Still some strong wind with that. Looks like it's starting to weaken a little bit, but I would expect still 60 mile per hour winds are possible with that. As we get down towards the south, Stark County, you're next. You're now under that severe thunderstorm warning, getting into Jackson Township, North Canton, over towards Tuscaroras, down towards Mount Eaton, seeing some heavier rain. This will advance into Canton itself. Maslin seeing some de decent downpours right now, and this will eventually head over towards Alliance, the Louisville area as well. As we extend this line further south, nothing severe with this. There's still a potent storm heading through Holmes County. County. The rest of us, though, just dealing with rain. You get the occasional lightning strike, so not okay to go outside yet. But in terms of severe weather, we are severe weather clear, and that's why that severe thunderstorm watch box has been trimmed back for the greater Cleveland area and points west. This line will be out of here over the next couple hours. Still some rumbles possible, though. We could still see some thunder and lightning with additional thunderstorms. We've still got some instability out there. You can see some of these storms starting to form off towards the west. I do not anticipate those being severe. This is all on the fringe of some cooler air. This is a pattern changer, folks. You're going to feel it tomorrow morning out the door, and it's going to stay that way through the weekend. National Design Mart Hour by our forecast. The rain gets out of here tonight. Still some scattering of showers. We'll be in the upper 50s tomorrow morning. We'll start with some showers around in the morning. We'll clear skies out by afternoon. Lower humidity as well. It's going to set us up very nicely for the weekend. As you see here in your Union Hill Mortgage 7-day forecast, Clouds give way to sunshine tomorrow after that morning rain. 65 is all the better we're going to do for a high. 75 and sunshine on Friday. Does it get any better than that? It does. Saturday, Sunday look great with low humidity. Next chance of storms Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week. But we've got a beautiful weekend out in front of us. Russ. All right, Matt. Thanks a lot.